All right, so we are back in Alabama. Uh, we just spent a few weeks down in Mississippi to work on uh, the rig. So today we're gonna get started on working on some exterior projects. So today I'm gonna work on the roof. I have a couple of vent covers that I need to replace and the fan in the bath area. Uh, so I'm going to go up there and uh, do some work up there today. Seagulls were dancing all around I woke up with a sunrise on the sea Such a priceless gift to me The salty breeze and the waves The slow pace The salty breeze When things like this break, I think it's important that you just don't try to put a band-aid on it and actually just fix it and put a new one on. Yesterday we followed the road of the moon. We drove all day towards the coast. It remembered me, beauty of this life. Such a feeling to be alive. Salty breeze in my all right so i'm going to sparingly use a little bit of denatured alcohol you do not want to put too much on on the surface it's because it's not good for the roof uh, because it's rubber but i need to do a little cleaning on it just a little this is, this is old and dirty and i need to see if i can just remove a little bit of the uh Okay, so I got this uh, 360 siphon vent. Uh, great reviews about it online. So I went to install it and then I realized that the PVC pipe coming out of my roof is a one and a quarter inch and not a one and a half inch. So this funnel is, is needed so that way it funnels any water just in case. So I had to modify the funnel, I had to cut this and then I had to modify the PVC pipe. I had to kind of shave down the PVC pipe so that way this would fit in there. So that way I can get the, the vent to sit down correctly. So, word to the wise, if you order this, it's, it's supposed to be great and I believe it will be. Make sure that you check the size of your vents up on, the, on your roof. So they fit one and a half inch and two inch. And this is one and a quarter inch. So if you decide you want to do it and you have a one and a quarter, be prepared to modify. Salty breeze and the waves. The man's a rap place. All right, moving on in our renovation. This fan is getting removed. It is not in good shape and it's falling apart so I've got I bought a new fan that's actually gonna go in and replace it so we're gonna head up on the roof and take care of this today
Alright, so we escaped the rain again. Now, all the screws are in. And as you can see, there's a little bit of butyl tape on, out on the outside. You don't want to see that all the way through. So we're good. Just going to lay down the lap sealant. And we're all set. Okay, so we're back. So, uh, the other day I got the fan into uh, the bath area. I'll throw a light on, there we go. So we got the electrical hooked up. So we've got our positives here. I can't, you can see. Yep, black, red, positive. And our white's connected right here. Uh, turn on the fan. We'll obviously open it up first if you wanna try it out. Make sure it works. And the fan needs to be open four inches, otherwise it won't work. And there we go. It's working. So now we have a couple more things we need to do. We need to reinstall the max air vent cover. And then we need to install the trim right here, because it's just a big open piece. So that is going to take some work. So I've got to do some measuring, because each side is a different measurement. So I've got to grab the measuring tape and measure it out. All right, so first thing to note is that this trim goes with in the actual fan itself. So uh, I put the trim in there. I can't hold the camera and do this all at once. So it's just about uh, just about one inch uh, underneath. So I have to add an inch to whatever I get here. So for example, that is one and a half inches. And I'm just going to go to the other side to make sure we're right. And that's one and a half inches. So back side is one and a half inches plus one inch, so two and a half inches. Right here. So we're starting at two, one and a half inches here. We go to the end. We are sitting at now we're sitting at two and a quarter roughly. That's a big difference. So we go from one and a half to two and a quarter. So I've got to measure that on the trim. Two and a quarter there. That's just about two and a half. And then doing the last one, two and a half, one and a half. And I gotta add an inch to each. And then I gotta trim from the opposite end. Okay, so to make my life easy, I have labeled, you can barely see, but there's a B there. Yeah, it's so fake, can't you see it? There's a B, B for back, B for front, F for front, L for left, R for right. So that way I can keep track of where each piece is going to be. So now, like I said, this needs to be recessed into the actual fan, so I have to measure from ground up what I need to cut. So, for example, like I said, one and a half inches plus two, plus an inch will give me two and a half inches. So I measure out two and a half inches, and there's my cut mark. And I gotta do that all the way around the entire perimeter of what I just talked about. And then all of this top piece right here is all gonna come out. So it's all gonna be on angles all the way. Two sides will be on angles, and two sides should be straight, but they're all gonna go cut all the way around. And then I want to recess it, so. All right, so this job should be relatively simple. Now I've gone ahead and marked up the inside, all the angles I need to cut. And in order to do this job, I'm going to need a jigsaw because that's what I have available for me to work with. Um, a carbide edge blade because it'll cut through almost anything and I've used it on a few different materials already it's done an outstanding job. See if first with some glasses.
there. That's what correct. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Let's get a screw in, we're done. Alright. Alright, we are in. Four screws are in. Good to see. Another project done.